All right, so you made a little project in Final Cut Pro and somehow sneakily in the background your project, or technically the library, ballooned up to a ridiculously big file size. This is a common issue with Final Cut, and I'll show you a couple of ways you can fix this. Let's go to settings first. When you're importing video files into Final Cut, there's two ways to do it. You can either tell Final Cut to leave the files in place and just access them in their current location. Or you can have Final Cut copy the files to your library storage location. Copying the files into your library is convenient because it makes your library sort of self-sufficient. If you move your library from one hard drive to another, all your video files and other assets will move with it, which allows you to keep working without losing access to your raw footage. The issue, and this is a pretty massive downside, is that doing this will make your library file size massive. Leaving the files in place will help keep the size of your library smaller, but it also means that you need to manually track your assets. If the assets get moved, Final Cut will lose access and you'll need to tell it where the asset went. Let's visualize this real quick. If I use the Leave Files in Place option and I import 100 gigabytes of footage into Final Cut Pro, my raw footage takes up 100 gigabytes of disk space, just like it did before I even touched Final Cut. If I import the same 100 gigabytes into Final Cut, but I use the Copy to Library Storage Location option, that 100 gigabytes will be taken up in the original place, but my library will now also be at least 100 gigabytes because it holds duplicate versions of all my raw files. So the total disk space used will become 200 gigabytes. Realistically, this will grow up even more because the library will create render files and other assets as you work on your project. I prefer to leave my files in place so I can access them easily without Final Cut. But now that my library size already got really large, changing the setting at this point won't help. If you want to reduce the size of an existing library, first make sure you know where all your raw footage lives. If you have it saved somewhere outside of your Final Cut library, you can do what I'm about to do. First, I'll close my project and go to Finder. I'll right-click my library and click Show Package Contents. Here I can see all the files that are included in my library file, and under Original Media I have all those duplicate clips that Final Cut generated. I already have these saved on my external hard drive, and I don't want duplicates taking up space on my hard drive, so I'll just delete them all. There's also some render files here, but I won't touch those for now. Deleting the duplicate clips brought down my library size to about 9 gigabytes. Still a little large, but we'll fix that in a minute. First things first, because we deleted the clips that Final Cut was using, next time you open that project, it's not going to find your files in their previous location, and we'll get a missing file error. Don't worry. This is a part of the process. Highlight all your clips, then go to Ruling Files, and show Final Cut where you keep the originals. Click Locate All and show Final Cut where to look. Mine are all somewhere in this drone folder on my external drive, so I just tell Final Cut to look from there. No need to point it to a specific clip, it's smart enough to find them based on file name. Boom. Fixed. Looks like I still have one clip missing, but based on the file name, it looks like this was a duplicate import, so I'm going to delete that. So everything is linked back up. If I want to further reduce the size of my library, I can go back to show package contents, go to the finder list view and sort by file size. If you don't see file sizes, you can click command plus J and check calculate all sizes. Just as I thought, most of my library size comes from render files. Render files get recreated all the time when you're working on your project. So if you're done with the project or technically even if you aren't, you can delete those. Final Cut actually has a built-in tool for this. With my project open, I can go to Delete Generated Library Files and tell Final Cut to delete everything I don't want. I don't need any of this, so I'll delete it all. And that brought our library size down to 10 megabytes. This is about as small as it gets for the project file alone without any media assets included. So if you need to trim down old Final Cut projects, this is how you can do it. Anyways, I hope that made sense. I hope it helps you shave off some fat library files, and I hope you subscribe to my channel so I can see you in my next quick tutorial. Thanks all.